What's up Aquarius, this is Soul And Aquarius, this is your uh, weekly uh, tarot forecast uh, Beginning October 7th and ending October 13th, 2019 It is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs as well Alright, so onward with your uh, weekly energies here I'm using a different deck, Allura Tarot uh, To deliver your messages, uh, Aquarius and so, uh, also to just provide an additional uh, two cards at the end, okay? And you can use those messages for however you uh, <laughs> seem fit, fit into your life, all right? But they are not the uh, energies that take over the entire reading, okay? There may be a couple reversals here, but um, more than likely, they're, most cards are in the upright position. I didn't really go over the deck. It's just that Seven of Cups has shown up twice for two signs that I've already read for, and it was in a reverse. So um, that was the only card that has shown up in the uh, reverse position. All right, Aquarius, your shadow card energy relates to that of these uh, Six of Swords. So it's your energies. Passage. This is traveling. Save passage to, save passage from. Um, <clears throat> Possibly uh, for some of you, uh, there may have been a little bit of turmoil um, in exchange with other people or even yourself. And then now they're saying things are going to calm down. Things are going to clear up. Um, but this is a good card. This is your energy and that energy of a, a Gemini and Libra, male or female. Six of Swords is your shadow card energy your focus however is the two of pentacles okay juggling two things two jobs two relationships uh could be something as simple as juggling a pay yeah a checkbook not a pay book a checkbook but something is throwing you off a little bit of uh, balance there um and so it's just minor energy so no i wouldn't worry too much about that it could be a small pay raise coming in you know part of a bonus for anyone is definitely pentacles represent uh you know work and finding oh excuse me my mic just dropped ain't that nothing okay could just represent work and finances and a small pay raise like i said a bonus these cars are large and it's like it's taking up all my space here so that's why my mic fell sorry about that anyway two of pentacles represents the earth energies taurus capricorn virgo male or female and a juggling act of some sort next up after that two of pentacles is the knight of swords more of your energy taking action making decisions making moves may be uh, connected to trying to clear up the imbalance when it comes to your money or uh, you know cleaning up your checkbook but this is a card that's based on uh, detachment there's no emotions here and maybe taking care of something else other. Uh, this is a card that's usually uh, referencing, you know, things fast approaching or you moving towards something or you're charging ahead, full steam ahead. You're very decisive, okay? Decisions, taking action, making moves. But whatever that is for you, uh, is this is what's showing up. Now we have the tower. Oh my gosh, we have the tower here. Tower is the major arcana that I don't like to show up at all, okay? But now, because it is, and you're the first sign that's received this tower, it's all about those things. Upheaval, destruction, it's not a pleasant card uh, to receive. So, dealing with upheaval and destructions that are sometimes out of our control, uh, because it shows up here in your reading, Aquarius, this could simply mean that it's just environmental, affecting your environment or the environment of others. Hurricanes, it could be the weather. Um, you know, all things related to terrorism, shootings, uh, you name it. It's under this buildings on fire, explosions. OK, so, you know, gosh, anyway, that's what we're uh, potentially having to deal with. Uh, and however, the energy opens up uh, for you, usually in the upright position, we have no control over what's about to come. Uh, potentially our way then we have the page of wands so the page of wands is news and surprises so maybe she's facing or he's facing in the direction of the tower some unpleasant news that could be the thing and even though the page of wands is all about 
news coming very quickly things uh being there's a touch of surprise uh it's more positive when it's in the upright but i'm just getting a link here because the tower is central to your energy and then we have the court cards well it is a court card knight of swords and then the page of wands but this page is facing the tower okay so if the page was facing in the opposite direction i would have a different meaning but this is expecting something something to create uh, some sort of upheaval or destruction and it's coming very very rapidly that's out of our control Aries, Leo or Sagittarius male or female and even as the reader I don't even like this damn reading this energy but then we have some good stuff to work with okay Ace of Pentacles is a new offering a new job finally turning your finances around that could be a bonus a pay raise whatever this Ace of Pentacles means for you it's a card of generosity maybe it's increasing your finances in some type of way Way to start of increasing your finances this could be investments taurus capricorn virgo male or female right underneath that two of pentacles here uh next well here we go two of cups and people wonder when they get this you know like the tower or the three of swords and then you have all of this other i call these dings the tower is a ding and the three of swords is a ding and then it's like well how do you go to explain you know the other good energies that may show up well you know basically i can i give you my best and you know impressions as to what i feel that could be taking place this is a open general reading and these messages aren't going to apply to everyone so um that is my answer um you know for anyone who comes along and sees that well he got the ace of pentacles he got the knight of swords us and then we got the page of wands and he says this and then the tower shows up well, yeah, the tower is a, a major arcana. It's very dominant energy. So it may not be uh, the energy that impacts, you know, all the people that, you know, I'm reading for. Just something happens. It may not even impact the uh, people that I'm reading for in general. It could be the environment. Keep that in mind, the environment. That could be things that are uh, taking place because this would represent government or politics. You know, all kinds of crazy shit is going on with uh the, you know the uh president and the and his administration so that could be just what that is but the message is coming through on your reading uh possibly just to have me say okay maybe it is just the the uh you know the administration and, and what's going on you know and i feel it's not just with the united states administration it's other stuff uk it's other things that are taking place hong kong all of this shit okay it represents that tower Two of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. There's still the potential of uh, meeting someone new romantically. This is a card of invitation, being invited out, seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page. Okay, Cups represent children for me. It's following the Ace of Pentacles. So this is good emotions, invitations, being invited out to dinner. It's underneath your energy, taking moves, well, taking moves making moves making decisions okay and it may be in relationship to a relationship of some you know friendship romantic partnership all right next up after the two of cups is the uh chariot so there we go now this is the card the chariot comes in and it's guess what it's underneath the tower so now i do have something to say because even though the tower is uh deemed like the most powerful negative energy in the uh this here dimmers that okay because it's the tower is the chariot all right and it's underneath the tower now if i was going to give you an example in terms of a connection here as far as upheaval and destructions god forbid car explosions this is transportations it, it doesn't necessarily have to be car explosions it could be some news that comes in and somebody's car gets blown up, somebody's uh, ship gets blown up. God forbid there's an airplane crash. Oh, my gosh. That just came to me. So the chariot by itself is very positive. It's a relationship card. It follows another relationship card. See, this is why I feel I'm giving you enough information and I may seem to be uh, you know, scattered, but I'm not. I'm just digging in and giving you the best impressions that are coming to me. This energy is not going to apply to everyone. Chariot is still a very positive card. I link these energies together because this is what I'm seeing, that there's something rapidly happened 
happening or about to happen this upcoming week, and it may involve some type of explosion involving a vehicle, airplane, um, that combination. So remove yourself from that energy because the shadow uh, card is safe passage to, safe passage from. If there's anybody who's fearing that, you know, traveling in any types of means, no. This could be situations that come about in the news that's not, you'll hear about it, okay? But it's not affecting you. It's not, a, it's not going to affect you. This is Uber services, Lyft services, purchasing a car, um, it could be just, you know, a combination of a car fire, a car bombing. It could be simple as an oil change, you know, anything, car repairs, something going on with a car. I equate this energy oftentimes with that of the star card, which is your energy. Hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. But pay, the focus would be the tower for some of you, but you're going to neglect the page of wands, chariot, the two, well, not even the two, but the Knight of Swords, your energy, Two of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles. That will be the dominant energy. Last is your energy again, Five of Swords. So conflict, inner conflict, external conflict, um, sorting something out, sorting some things out. It may be work-related since it mirrors the Ace of Pentacles. Or if there's uh, a job offer trying to sort some mental activity out, but you still have the take charge type of energy. The Knight of Swords, making moves. Okay? Making decisions. But this is just for somebody who may be dealing with some internal stuff, and it's minor because it's a five. Remember, it's just a five, and whatever internal or external conflicting energies that are, you know, that you're dealing with, it's not going to last long. There's a change of energy. So this is my best presentation for you, Aquarius. Uh, yes, had it not been for the chariot showing up here to dimmer some of the energies of that tower, then it would have just been um, still an okay reading. But, you know, some people, like I said, the focus would be on the tower. The tower just dominates all the readings when it shows up. And people don't like that, but it is what it is. All right, so two cards here to support your reading. And again, I'm just going to give you my best impressions. Uh, if I'm not satisfied with that, then I will throw in in the comment sections what some of the combinations may mean. Okay, first card for you, Aquarius, is... Yeah, Ryder. Here we go. Nine of Hearts. And I have to apologize to one of them signs because I said the Nine of Hearts. It was the Nine of Spades. The ship was the Nine of Spades. So this is the Nine of Hearts. This is the very first card in Norman. So she's uh, the Ryder. And it's in link with the chariot. So something, a message also with the Page of Wands. Some important news is coming. She's a, a deliverer, a, a male a deliverer. She could be uh, delivering... Uh, some important news or documents. Okay, so Nine of Hearts and Cartomancy represents, uh, would be equal to the Nine of Cups. I think it was the ship that showed up for another sign and I, it looked like uh, a heart to me and I, it should have been a spade. So I have to go and correct that. So yeah, the um, Lilies re represents a court card, King of Spade. A message is coming to a male, an older male. Somebody may be retiring older male or female may be reached well i say female because more females watch these videos than males female may be retiring news of a retirement okay this is also a card of healing it's also a card of sexual energy i get an older type of energy it is representative of an older type male specifically but this here is like news of a retirement this also could be representative of news of, well, it could also re represent a resignation of some sort, but we'll just have to wait and see. So that's what I have for you. Uh, someone resigning or asked to resign. It could be, and it's an older gentleman, older woman, um, and some type of uh, energy. All right, that's what I have for you. Okay, uh, Aquarius, thank you for... Uh, joining me. I appreciate you guys uh, and your support. Sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way. Please be safe. Always emphasizing that safety whenever the tower shows up even more so. Okay. But it's not 
for you to be um, paranoid. It really isn't. Because I, I feel that this particular link has something to do with, there could be news of something blowing up, okay? Whether it's a car ship, car bombings. And I know there's a lot of activity that's going on in Hong Kong. So that could be uh, this energy that I'm picking up and, and got shit to do with you. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see how things start to unfold, all right? Till I talk to you again, take care.